Well, tonight, after weeks of protests demanding answers, Orange County Sheriff John Mina sits down to talk about the shooting death of Salathus Melvin. Investigators say that 22 year old was shot in the back, killed by an Orlando count or Orange County deputy, excuse me, as he tried to run on August 7th. Tonight, the sheriff met with local leaders and a protest organizer behind closed doors. News 6's Eric Sandoval is live at the Orange County Sheriff's Office with more on that meeting. Eric? Yeah, Matt, the sheriff said that uh, State Senator Randolph Bracey actually reached out last week wanting to set up this meeting. He said he wanted to get to the bottom of what exactly happened outside the Florida Mall on August 7th. And after that meeting wrapped up, we were waiting outside. I get it. You know, people want to know what's happening with the case and, you know, we're open to, to letting people know. But Sheriff John Mina says there is little more that he can actually say about the investigation into the shooting of Salathus Melvin on August 7th because it's out of his hands. Investigators say Deputy James Montiel believed the 22-year-old was going to pull his gun from his waistband when he shot him in the back as he ran from him at the Florida Mall, killing him. Mina says the investigation into that shooting is now being conducted by the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. It takes about um, 60 to 90 days for FDLE to complete the review and then they give it to the state attorney's office and then, you know, it's on the state attorney's office how long that, that goes back. I feel like more informed about what's going on. I think. The sheriff met with Miles Mulrain, one of the organizers of recent protests demanding answers in Melvin's death. He also met with State Senator Randolph Bracey and State Representative Travaris McCurdy. We try to come up with some solutions together. We don't see eye to eye on everything as, as, as you would expect in any situation, in, in any room. But the important thing was uh, the, uh, the, the need for dialogue. Can you understand their frustrations at this point? Uh, you know, certainly uh, anytime, you know, someone uh, dies, especially uh, that age, you know, we know there's going to be frustrations and concerns, especially from the family and friends. And, you know, what I would say is, you know, uh, let the process, you know, work out, you know, let the investigation be complete. Now, Mina says he is being as transparent as he possibly can. As of tonight, he says all of the video that his agency has in connection with this case has been released to the public. He says now the FDLE will continue its investigation. After it's done, the state attorney's office will get it, and then the sheriff's office will start its investigation. But he warns all of this is going to take a lot of time. We're live outside the Orange County Sheriff's Headquarters tonight. Eric Sandoval, getting results. News 6. Back to you. Eric, thank you. Now